Travel Thoughts on Tech Video. The last weeks have been dominated by the launch of GoPro's new product line, when it comes to action cams. But those are expensive products that not everybody can buy. To fill the gap, while my GoPros don't arrive I have bought an action cam that got my attention and costs only a fraction of the top of the line equipments. Let us see if it is any good. The camera is the Akaso V50X and it costed me 88 euro, shipment included. I must say I was amazed with the amount of stuff they have packed in the box, what you see here is not even everything. It is really nice that it comes with two batteries and an external charger for example. If this is your first action cam, the included mounts are also a very good inclusion. To record with the camera underwater you have to use the included waterproof housing. At this price point you cannot expect a waterproof equipment with no need for a case. But now let's see how the images from the Akaso V50X look like, because that is the most important thing to take into account. Although this was recorded on an overcast day the image quality is good. You can see a lot of detail on the walls and on the ground. And for me there was another pleasant surprise, the stabilization really works here and is quite effective. I was not expecting this much. One thing you can complain about in this camera is the sound quality, it is in general really low and seems only to get louder when it picks up some wind, which is what you are not really willing to get. On situations like this here, where I was running with the camera held in my hand, with no pole or small tripod, the stabilization gets to its limits. But the same happens on some other cameras that cost a lot more. The camera has two different stabilization settings, stabilization and gyro. If you only have the stabilization on, without gyro it will look a bit weird. Some strange artifacts, like if the image was stretching and compressing. I would not advise you to use it like this, as the footage doesn't look good. As a reference you can see here how it looks when the stabilization is completely turned off. As a conclusion I would say that considering the price and the qualities that this camera presents I can only recommend it. 
If you cannot afford a more high-end equipment and want one that decently does the job, the Akasovi 50X is for sure a good option.